Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be playing Mock. Now, Mock uh, is a survival ro roguelike game where you collect resources, find items, build a base, and survive for as long as you can. Now, as you can see, the graphics are pretty much basic, but this is a single indie developer. He made this uh, back in June of 2021, and let's get right into it. All right, so we'll go and punch out the basics first. Now, first we have to find a rock. There we go. Open up tab, put rock into bar. Now we gotta slap a tree. Now this is wheat. It's made to make flour, which will eventually make bread. But the most important thing are all these treasure chests that are around. Each one, for the exception of the one with the black trim, actually cost gold these ones are absolutely free and so whenever you can grab them now each of the items inside goes and helps you out in some way shape or form from giving you more life to reducing hunger costs to uh, Making you hit faster, run faster, um, hit harder. There's just way, way too many things when it comes to this game on what it actually does. So I didn't get enough on the first go. So let's bash another tree. There we go. And to make things, you just click and bring it down. And then right click, boom. And that's pretty much the end of that tutorial. Now there is quite a few things that you have to do. You have to create things like the ax and the pickaxe which is handy for a few various reasons. Okay. So this is the village that they actually put together. Trade with the chief. Uh, we don't have anything to give this man. Oh, give him the wheat. Yeah, I'll probably, oh, and most of the items that are within villages can be looted. Just mind you, when it comes to the chief, don't take his stuff. Boat map. All right. So if we press M, it opens up the entire map. Now we're over here and the boat is all the way over there. <sighs> That's a trek. But okay. Uh, we already got one of those. We'll grab that. Don't really need walls. Because even though there is base building in this game, if you're doing it solo, it is very, very hard to keep everything um, together and intact when... You actually have like really big baddies actually coming at you. So I find it pretty redundant to actually attempt to go and keep those. Okay, we got some more chest. Some iron ore, some raw meat. Oh, some more raw meat. So these are some of the various ores that you'll find. So you have gold, uh, Obamium, uh, iron, mithril, you can even get these rubies. There's even um, 
some material called unitanium. Oh, and as the sun goes down, the baddies come out. So let's go and put some things in our bars. So I found doing the dash and hit maneuver to actually be very successful on like killing these things. And it feels like it actually does uh, the chance of a critical hit is slightly increased. Now there are other baddies you have to think of you have these goblin looking dudes oh the duck devils i know they have an official name on the wiki i think they're called uh daves i don't know they look like a duck they have horns i'm calling them devil ducks <laughs> That's that, that's all, that's coal. I should really make another workbench. Any more baddies? Oh, yeah. And usually when you're attacking these things, don't attack them fully head on. Your best approach is to actually attack and dodge to the left because then By doing so, you've actually given yourself a, a little bit of an advantage, but you know, who am I to say? Let's move that there. We'll use you in a bit. So we're most likely going to, yeah, we're going to have to build another one because we're not even close i usually try and find the boat and actually just build around there or close to there because then it's easier is this the chief one okay so this chest do not touch unless you're like fully geared out and you want to make enemies with the village because touching that chest equals well everyone attacking you Uh, Chief, what you got? Got some cooked meat? Alright, I'll buy one thing of cooked meat. Who are you? Woodcutter. 75, get an adamantium one? Mmm. Right off the bat, that would be super, super helpful. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Sell the wood axe. Okay. Now, there is uh, one thing to know. I believe someone went and told me once that the more you improve, the, the harder the bosses get. But it's always give and take on like how that works with me. So I say that take the take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> Is that how it goes? That over. Bring that down. There we go. Ooh, a furnace. Hmm. Yeah, might as well. Okay, so put the fuel in there. And there, we'll go and let that do its thing. Let's grab some more uh, rock. Do we need more rock? We need more rock. So just to note that you actually need to be eating on almost a constant basis. 
uh, without it, you're actually going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, by that, I mean that you won't be able to, with no food in your stomach, you won't be able to uh, do a lot of things. Like, for example, oh, sorry, got distracted for a moment. Uh, you won't be able to go and um, run. That's a big thing in this game. Oh, nothing in there. Rope. Okay. Oh, the sun's already going down. I didn't make any progress today. Alright, let's make some progress right now. Let's get our hunger up there. Now, you gotta remember, depending on what you're fighting, changes on how you're actually going to be dealing with them most of the organic baddies you want to use a sword a pickaxe or um the axe or the uh bow and arrow but if you are dealing with um baddies that are actually like golems it's better to actually use um where are these things Ah, there we go. It's usually uh, better to actually use your... Sorry. <laughs> ah. Son of a beeswax. Okay. Did I just hear another one? No, I'm going crazy. No, I'm not going crazy. Oh, there we go. Alright. Ooh, I'm so gonna need this. Because I'm kind of progressing faster than where I'm supposed to be because I actually got this Adamantium max. But that's okay. Alright, some movement speed. That's awesome. Okay, let's open up a couple of these chests. Oh, more health. Oh, draw speed, arrow damage. Okay, that's specifically for the uh, using the bow and arrow, which I will definitely be getting soon. How far am I? Okay, I'm pretty close. Well, almost there. Let's keep our stamina up. Since I don't have an upgraded axe, I kind of want to steer clear of those guys, but oh, uh, There's that one right there. Okay, be quick, be quick. There we go. Oh, health regen. That's actually going to really help me out. Oh, what do I got? Ah, okay. Dracula is honestly my favorite one. So essentially every single time you kill any enemy or anything that can be killed, you will get life. And what I mean by that, your max HP increases permanently. Like, honestly, like it's by far one of the best ones and comboed up with, uh, Broccoli, it just helps out so much. So, so much. All right, so since we've gotten to here, we'll actually make one of these again. Drop it down. Let's see, let's... Yeah, we're pretty close now, so... Here we go. 
Let's make a chest. Uh, drop some things in. Yes. Uh, for now, yes, yes. No, let's keep those on us. Cook me, keep. Uh, torch on tools. Got that, got that. Got one rope. Don't have enough wood. Okay. Is this oak? No, that's not what I want. Trees. Okay, the sun is going down, which is a little worrisome. I don't got anything that I want to be built. Okay, so let's get the bow. I'm going to have to make some arrows. Okay, how much flint do I got? There we go. That station. Yeah, I'll put that there, that there. Alrighty then. So I press tab to actually do that. So now I have a bow and arrow. To complement my arsenal. Now, I would say the bow and arrow is really great for hiding and for hitting those enemies that actually do a lot of uh, long distance uh, damage as well, because that will actually work to your advantage. Now, as you saw, you saw that uh, Dave or Devil Duck go and attack my items. That is because in this game, your base is everything. So... If they're not attacking you, they're attacking your base. See, they'll attack whatever's closer, whether it's you or the base. And so I usually like don't even bother. So annoying. Uh, Any more? Doesn't seem like it. Well, that was an easy one. Okay. Yeah, no, no. I want to keep everything. Let's get some things down. Now, let's have some apples first, because we got a couple of hits. Our food or our hunger was pretty low. Oh, I just realized we left, or I left, all that stuff back there. Ah, uh, okay. That's okay. I will be getting plenty of more. Hmm. No. All right, so... Yeah, so I need birchwood and more flint. Because I do want to upgrade to the next level. Oh, which is iron over there. I'm going to need birch, which... Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I think I got more than enough flint, but I'm definitely going to need an upgraded uh, pickaxe, because god dang. 
Mind you, this is probably the first playthrough I've ever done of this game where I didn't get, like, attack speed. <laughs> right off the bat. 80? Yeah, sure. Ooh, so I got jump, jump, and jump. Oh yeah, and there's no fall damage in this game, which is super, super awesome for that. Yeah, where did that bridge go? Oh, there we go. Yeah, double hit those trees. There, I should actually have more than enough to actually... Do the fletching one. Let's see. Uh, yeah. And let's kill some cows. Because cows also increase your max HP. Alright, so let's put the iron ore in here. Let's grab it in there. Yeah, let's uh there we go. Doesn't really matter how it looks, as long as we could get it done. Alright, so I need another row. All right, so upgrade that. Fiber, okay, no armor. So I think the armor is in what station again? Pretty sure I'm gonna need the upgrade. Oh, which one was that? Ah, there we go. Anvil, that's what it was. Oh. Wing. There we go. We'll go and do that in a bit. I'll explain what that is. No, there has to be more. Oh, there we go. Oh. Well, there is one cool thing about this game. You can actually make them hurt each other oop I am getting low on things so let's eat some food oh well that sucked but yeah honestly this game is really fun it's extremely re replayable I highly suggest it and thank you very much for going and actually spending some time with me and i will see you in the next video